welcome back and welcome to another Enchanted Fandom Drinking Vessel subscription box unboxing. Um, I am subscribed to Enchanted Fandom's Drinking Vessel subscription because I love all the different cups and tumblers and mugs and glasses that uh, Enchanted Fandom puts out. They pick the best fandoms and they make the best drinkware. Um, I will leave a link to their shop in the description box below if you want to go and check out what's going on with next month's drinking vessel or you decide to sign up for a subscription yourself. This month's theme was Narnia. I believe it's specifically the line the Witch in the Wardrobe, but I'm not sure because I haven't opened the box yet. Um, very helpfully, the actual drinking vessel outside box uh, just contains another box with the drinking vessel and the recipe card and this month's recipe card I'm very excited about making the cocktail from this month's recipe card I know I've done a couple of videos where I've made the non-alcoholic version but this time the cocktail sounds so like me it is the Turkish delight cocktail um, and the non-alcoholic one is Edmund's downfall, which if you are a fan of Narnia and especially the line the witch in the wardrobe, you will know that Turkish Delight kind of is Edmund's downfall as well. So very appropriate. And we've got the snowy scenes. So it's uh, winter in July, because of course it's always winter and never summer in Narnia when the, uh, the queen is ruling. Um, so excited to make this cocktail for you in a few moments once we've unboxed the actual drinking vessel. So I have slit the tape on the box. So let's see what we have inside. Oh, oh, oh it's wedged in well. Ooh. <laughs> How gorgeous is that? So it's like, I think, yeah, it's gray. I was like, is it bluey gray or just gray? I think I'm getting the reflection of my purple. It's a gray mug. Now, she was advertising this as a sort of mini mug, but I would say, you know, for size here, this is, this is like a decent size mug. I cannot wait to start using this mug. I think that that is absolutely gorgeous. I love the different, like, the fact that we've had what, like three mugs from the subscription service so far, but each of them has been so different and obviously has covered a different theme as well. I love, love, love this mug so much. Courage, dear heart. Uh, I need to watch the um, Chronicles of Narnia BBC adaptation. Oh, so good. Need to watch it. Um, and maybe, you know, do a little reread of the books as well whilst drinking some uh, some hot chocolate in this mug because obviously Line the Witch in the Wardrobe, we have hot chocolate in here. Although once they get upon the Dawn Treader, uh, rum might be more appropriate. We'll see. I think the two things go what, together quite well. Okay, I need to go out and get my items to make my Turkish Delight cocktail because there's a couple of items on here I don't have. So I'm going to go out and get those and then I will be back in a matter of moments to make that recipe with you and try it out. So I have my cocktail shaker filled with ice and then this recipe calls for gin, it calls for creme de cacao, it also calls for, so it calls for vanilla syrup, but I have vanilla extract and I have some simple syrup. So I'm hoping that they will cancel each other out. It calls for, of course, some rose water with it being a Turkish delight recipe. And it calls for a splash of grenadine. So we're going to make this beautiful Turkish delight cocktail, which is a martini, of course. Um, so... I need two shots of gin. Oh, I just realized this was a new bottle of gin. I imagine this would look and taste nice with pink gin, actually. Uh, 
and then so you can actually see me putting it in we need half a shot of creme de cacao that was a really good sound always love the glugging sounds that accompany a little bit of cocktail making um and then vanilla syrup wise i'm going to pop i'm just going to put some vanilla extract in and then slosh in some simple syrup so then we get the nice balance of the vanilla and the sweetness and then it says a few drops of rose water but more if you prefer things more turkish delighty which i do i love turkish delight so i can smell it there's nothing wrong with a little more and then a splash or two of red grenadine so this is like a wide neck bottle so i'm hoping that it doesn't pour too much in Okay, so I don't want it to be too sweet. Okay, that was two splashes. Okay. And now, you know what we have to do. We have to, where's my lid? I'm like, there's too many gaps and lids here. We have to shake it, of course. Make it nice and cold. Okay nice and icy and then why does it always spill when you take the lid off we're going to strain it into the glass that is quite the color perhaps i added too much grenadine let's see definitely smells of gin and roses. It tastes kind of grenadine-y. I'm going to put some more rose water in. That's better. So here we have our Turkish Delight Narnia-inspired Edmund cocktail. I think Edmund would be proud of it. Um, and I'm glad I'm making this video on an evening for once because it means I can actually drink it. I think definitely putting that extra rose in there made all the difference. Um, I will be back with another video soon. So make sure you are subscribed so that lands in your subscription feed. Of course, I will be back with next month's Enchanted Fandom Drinking Vessel Box. And all those links that you need are in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.